one of the insights that sparked the, the dialogue for me was really uh, for assistive technology with older adults is really starting with the comprehensive assessment. Uh, a lot of the dialogue was actually uh, revolved around occupational therapy as being a key element with the comprehensive assessment before uh, prescribing and maybe training for the assistive technology and how important that is. Yet we know that access to occupational therapy is patchy at best and maybe that's part of the policy um, movement moving forward to help uh, address assistive technology with older adults. Well, I think one of the um one of the insights as far as what needs to be done to overcome some of these challenges is policy change that may be directed towards desired outcomes and functional needs versus demographic profiling or diagnostic grouping. We have seen the challenges within the current policy and funding structures where if you fit in the box you get the program and, and funding if you don't fit in the box you don't. Uh, where I think uh, moving forward with the research and the discussion on the table we know that um, if we change the focus Focus, change the framework and maybe think about uh, predictive modeling on if we do this upstream investment on assistive technology, what is the long-term um, investments that reoccur? Can we reduce falls with older adults? Can we reduce hospitalization? I think the answer is yes, and then we need to look at these new modeling in policy changes moving forward.